Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie. Today is March 8th. Yes, March. There we go. Crazy hair, I don't care. We know that about me. And we're going to be reading the next page of Each Day New Beginning. March 8th. Let's see what we have. I'm very happy that you're here with me. My name is Jolie. All right, here we go. And starts off with a quote and it says to create is to boggle the mind and alter the mood once the urge has surged it maintains its own momentum we may go along for the ride but when we attempt to steer the course the momentum dies and that's a quote from sue actually Aba again to create is to boggle the mind and alter the mood. Create the mood. Once the urge has surged, it maintains its own momentum. Here we go. Momentum here. We may go along for the ride, but when we attempt to steer the course, the momentum dies because that's, I guess, the higher power stuff, you know, because that's who's supposed to be leading, not our. Us. All right, so here we go. A sense of spiritual well-being warms us when we are selfless. When we step away from our obsessing egos, when we let our pure, unfettered desires direct our thoughts and our steps. A sense of spiritual well-being warms us when we are selfless. When we step away from our obsessing egos, when we let go um, and let our pure, unfettered desires direct our thoughts and our steps, our egos may be keeping us caged in old behavior ugh, and old fears. Egos struggle for self-preservation. Unfortunately, it's our old, unhealthy self-ego that we're preserving. So the steps we make, excuse me again, the steps make it possible for us to unload our baggage from our early days, baggage that intrudes on our perceptions and today's events. The steps clear the path so that we can move responsibly forward. Living creatively is living in the thick of the flow, trusting the flow, spontaneously moving with the flow, not controlling the flow. We are spiritful when we let ourselves roll forward, resisting not, doubting not, and our greatest contributions will be discovered when our ego takes a rest. Sit down, sit down, ego. I'm running the show, says the higher power. Yeah, I'm running the show. That's ego jumping back in the seat. So my creativity awaits my discovery. It's there. I will release it from the clutches of my ego. A sense of spiritual well-being warms us when we are selfless. When we step away from our obsessing egos, when we let our pure, unfettered desires direct our thoughts and our steps. The steps make it possible for us to unload our baggage from earlier days, baggage that intrudes on our perceptions of today's events. And the steps clear the path so we can move responsibly forward. Thank you for this reading today. And um, this was great. I needed that. I never read it before I come on here because I want to be here with you as like as in a meeting when we're reading together. And just for today, I will release my loved ones to my higher powers care. I will free myself from trying to do the impossible, changing the actions, attitudes, or life of anyone other than myself. Better 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 remind myself of that one. It's not easy to do. 
it's not easy to do. I did pull the tower card today. I pulled this today. Outside events, but waiting, you know, it's still waiting for renewal, but we got to have a crash. Just like in recovery, like they were just saying in the meeting today, I was in, I went to two meetings today. One was the, for the um, friends and families of alcoholics and addicts, and that's al -Anon. I love that. That's what got me into the other one. And then um, being sober um, is the other one. So I went in the, um, I don't know what's coming on. You know, I just need to settle down and uh, work with step one, which is to know and accept that I'm powerless over other people, places, and things outside of me. Um, and I'm also powerless over my obsessive um, thought patterns that um, I acquired with, um, with living in, uh, with, with um, that in my life, growing up with that um, in my life. Um, so if you can relate to that. So this, when I look at the tower, I'm like, oh, something's, something's about to change. Like lightning, lightning change, fast and furious. But whenever I see the tower, I'm like, okay, something is beyond my control is gonna be changing. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I don't know what that it's gonna be. So I, there's no way that I could ever know what's gonna happen next. I may believe something will happen or I may visualize something to happen or try to manifest something to happen. But I also wanna con keep connected to to the spiritual realm. So that's why I pray so that I can let go of that. I do the work. I do the best in being responsible for myself and the people that I'm responsible for and the things that I've committed to. And um, so what does that mean? It means a lot. I have, you know, I to stay healthy and in mind, body, and spirit. So how are you guys doing? I think that was a great reading for me. I needed to hear that because uh, we are working with, um, I'm working with my, my child who wants to quit school still. Um, you know, can't do that. So we went and talked to the therapist and um, there's other issues that are um, a, a board here. So um, I'm gonna take the steps I need to take. It's overwhelming sometimes. Today was a little overwhelming, but we got through it. Um, not necessarily, I didn't get through it um, the most mature way possible. I just, you know what, I, I'm human. It's a process and, um, you know, tears and catastrophizing the moment, old patterns perked, uh, perking up from my fear. And, um, but we have bullet points to, to work with and there's some level of acceptance on the other party. Um, but um, what's nice is that we that we watched a movie together and we, we held hands and you know we're buds. You know, in the end we are uh, love each other and um, and he I'm sure he has fears too because of past things. Like he says here, it's like the irony of the reading is perfect for me. I don't know, I'd like to hear what's going on for you, but it says here how um, how the steps, uh, at least for me, you know, he's not in this program, but make it possible for us to unload our baggage from earlier days. You know, there's fear of, of what school was for him before. And so he keeps bringing that into 
the reasons, but this is a different situation, right? But the baggage that intrudes on our perceptions of today's events. So that baggage is pretty heavy and it intru it's intruding. It's also intruding on mine too, because I'm like, here we go again. It's going to be, how is this going to go? And so my fears are coming up too. So what I can only do me, but you know, I have compassion for the child here. So the steps for me, uh, clear the path so we can move responsibly forward. And so we can be creative, like this says here, you know, and, and spiritual, spiritually um, working on myself as a well-being so that it can warm me when um, when I'm selfless here and when uh, I step away from obsessing, my ego obsesses, um, when I let my pure unfettered desire direct my thoughts and my steps, my ego may be keeping me caged in old behavior and old fears. Um, egos struggle for self-preservation and unfortunately it's my old unhealthy self the ego is preserving so you know i'm you know when i read this i can you know we can all read these instead of it being ours and you know like could be you know can change it to the first person or is that the first person but it's like to own it for myself so um living creatively is living in the thick of the flow, which means to me, what I've been talking about the last couple readings is, is um, being present in the, what is that word? Because I'm still in, in the, you know, working with it, like step by step of life. So um, let that go. So hopefully it comes back to me. So um, being spiritful, when uh, I let myself roll forward, not resisting, not doubting, and my greatest contribution will be discovered when my ego can take a rest. So put that in for you too. <laughs> It's, it's vulnerable to share about that. Yeah, my ego is like, should I say anything? Is that too much? Is that too heavy? What if somebody sees that? That can use it against me? You know, like all these things come up for me when I'm sharing. But, you know, maybe it will help somebody else too that's going through some things like that. You know, also there's um, other things that are working with that. You know, autism hormones <laughs> so, and me, you know, am I doing the right thing? You know, there's, you know, the guilt stuff comes up. Am I doing, is this okay? Am I, you know, how do you do that? And so, um, you know, I did talk to somebody, I talked to a therapist and I was like, you know, it's not legal to do it when they're that age. And she's like, well, there you go. It's outside of you. You can't do anything about it. I'm like, I know, but I just have to process this. So it's the process. That's the word process. Processing and, and life is a process. It's like also being aware and taking how it feels, chunk, 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 you know, feeling those speed bumps. The process to me is like speed bumps in the road, slow me down, and you can definitely feel them. Anyway, I'm going to go and say the serenity prayer. And um, I know that I'm powerless over so many things in my life, but I am not powerless over my decisions and um, my perceptions. I know that it's a choice. Um, and without working the 12 steps and reading this and being part of the program, 
that um, I can talk to people and go to meetings with, then I, I didn't know how to change. Like I knew like it would be good if I can change my perception, but I have no clue how to do that. The steps, working the steps gives me the tools and the clue how to open that up and be okay with it. Acceptance is key, I guess I'm trying to say, and being willing and to know that I don't know. I'm always learning and to, to be receptive like that so that I can float through the world in a, in a way that um, I can heal myself first so that I can give that to other people as well. I, and I can give myself more fully because I'm fuller. I'm, that's at least what I'm visualizing now. And the moon's full, the moon's full in Virgo. So yeah, analyzing, scrutinizing, but disciplining. It's a very good disciplining um, idea. Like, you know, putting everything in order, going to yoga again tomorrow. So yes, thank you. I hear um, Sharon's going too. Who else is going to yoga? Even though we can't do the, all the poses, we, we, we adapt just like in life. We do what we can and we're aware and we're okay with that. We are who we are at the time that we are. And that's good. That's right on. And we're learning the tools, which like in yoga, we have to adapt the poses. We have to, um, like if someone's standing up or doing, you know, doing something that's tricky, you know, then we can go keep on our knee. Or if we can't raise our arms and we can just do so. Meet yourself where you're at. That's meet myself where I'm at. Hello, here I am, and that's okay. All right, so um, God, take a nice breath in and out. <sighs> Grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. So God's will not mind be done. Mm -hmm. Keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it. And I'm going to go pick up my daughter. All right, love you guys. Mm-hmm.